Sunday, everyone. It's turning into a really nice day, which is a great transition from the weekend that was a pretty big mess for a lot of people. Now, we do still have some of those flood warnings still in effect. Barton River under a minor flood stage there at Coventry uh, should see that slowly start to subside over the next several hours and into to tomorrow. But for the Connecticut River, actually under moderate flood conditions, so that's pretty brutal up there still. And that's not expected to get better until maybe Wednesday at the earliest. So still a long way to go with that. And of course, as we've been telling you about all morning, Lake Champlain plane is also under a flood warning. Now the Burlington gauge as well as the Rouse's Point gauge are both above flood stage, uh, but we could see a hundred and a half feet at the Rouse's Point one. So certainly some very high water, especially on Lake Champlain. If you've been down there at all, I'm sure you have noticed uh, that the water is very high. And now it's not only of course due to the rain, but all that snow melt. And we still have a lot of snow in that higher terrain, which is why things could for Lake Champlain get a little bit worse through Wednesday as more and more of that snow continues to melt. So the flooding does linger here. We'll watch that in the coming days for you guys. Showers are on and off for part of the work week too, so we still have multiple rounds of rain headed our way over the next several days. However, including today and into tomorrow, we do have some breaks in between, which will be nice. So here's your satellite, which is your cloud cover. Of course, some clouds starting to thin out a little bit over northern Vermont, but a little more stubborn over southern Vermont. And I do think that does come along with some showers. I want to zoom out here and show you that system that's off to the south of us. This is a very condensed system, so it doesn't, it's not very broad stretching, but do count on the northern and eastern edge of this to shift north and have an impact on some of our eastern and southern areas later this evening and into over overnight tonight, while the western portions of our area will stay nice and dry. So maybe a few showers for a few of us, but many of us are going to end up with a really nice day. And so far, that's exactly what it's been. 61 now in Burlington feels good there. It's 60 in Montpelier, already 70 in Lebanon, 62 in Rutland, 56 degrees in Saranac Lake, 61 degrees in Messina. So here we go with your 12 hour forecast. Not bad. We're staying near and above that 60 mark through about sunset, even despite a light northerly wind around 10 miles per hour. That sun is going to help. We're dipping back into the 40s by about midnight and some broken clouds around too. There are those showers just skimming our southern and eastern portions of our area. Watch as they just kind of ride the border of Vermont and New Hampshire through the overnight hours. So something to watch out for if you're in that area. It's not a washout, just some of those scattered showers that we know all too well during springtime with broken clouds for the rest of us. Much of the same overnight as that system moves out. We have the next one holding off for the majority of Tuesday. Obviously, you can see here more of those broken clouds, but watch after sunset and through overnight on Tuesday as some more of these showers roll on through. Some of them could be on the heavier side and they will be intermittent throughout your Wednesday morning and into your Wednesday afternoon too. So well, a little, a little damp on Wednesday, not too bad here. We're talking about a few tenths of an inch tops of that rain, but it does come quickly with a dry up for Thursday. Now, in addition to the back and forth with the rain, obviously that moves in Tuesday night through Wednesday, but we're also back and forth with our temperatures. Nice and mild between today and tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, temperatures dip. Then as we dry up on Thursday, our temperatures are going back up. Friday periods of rain once again that will linger through your Saturday and for the first half of the weekend and probably into your Sunday temperatures go back down below average going to be a little chilly and we'll have a chance for showers all the way through your Sunday. So yeah back and forth here and with this